Wine Down Wednesday. Ha ha ha. Wine Down Wednesday. It's five o'clock. A nice yard and a little song and small talk. Warming Some up my whistle of my friends nice. may drop by from just down the block. So it's Wine Down Wednesday. Mm. It's five o'clock. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Wine Down Wednesday. Sorry about last week. That we just had the craziest service out there at the Opry House. So uh, sorry about that. But uh, we're here today. I mean, Doug and I are really here together, just in case you thought I was talking about myself in, uh, you know, plural, <laughs> which would be kind of scary, I think. Uh, so yeah, so it's a beautiful day here uh, in the Nashville, Franklin area. and. Uh, so I couldn't stop singing this song all day, so sorry. This is what you're getting for the first song. <laughs> Anybody know what it is? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you two, two guesses. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hibbity hobbity, Easter's on its way. Bringing every girl in Baskets full of Easter joy, things to make your Easter bright and gay. He's got jelly beans for Tommy, colored eggs for Sister Sue. Then there's an orchid for your mommy, and an Easter bonnet too. Oh, here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. <laughs> well, here comes Peter Cottontail, up and down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. Try to do the things you should. Maybe if you're extra good, he'll roll lots of Easter eggs your way. You'll wake up on Easter morning and you'll know that he was there. When you find those chocolate bunnies that he's been hiding everywhere. Here comes Peter Cottontail. Up and down the bunny trail, hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. <laughs> just a little Gene Autry for you. So, you know, I was just thinking, you know, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, you know, was the, the original, like the one that I remember and lots and lots and lots of people remember was Gene Autry and I was wondering if he just was like, hey, these holiday songs, they're, they're, like, they're good for the bank, for bank roll, you know? Um, but I also was thinking, doesn't that sound like a little bit like, um, uh, uh, what, what are the words that set the word on fire? You Tonight we're sitting the woods on fire. Kind of makes me think like they're kind of it does, yeah. which, same vibe. Which one came first? My guess would be Hank, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. All right, somebody look that up in your funk and wagnalls, will you? <laughs> <laughs> we want to know which one was first. Because honestly, that style of music kind of has got that little Jimmy Rogers vibe to it. Even yeah. Although these are all uh, straight... Um, bars of, you know, no no two four bars in there thrown in like Jimmy like Rogers, Rogers used to do all the that. time. But, um, yeah, why didn't they put a little bunny yodel in there? Uh, oh, do, oh, do, oh, do. I don't think bunny, bunnies yodel, don't yodel. Oh, these don't yodel? No. Bunnies, surely do they, bunnies yodel. Oh, and just squirrels yodel. <laughs> well, um, Lots of conversations going already uh, <laughs> about uh, Easter and about the weather, but also about greenhouses. Yay, yeah. you guys saw my post. That's so cool. Isn't it the best? I'm so excited. 
I didn't have time today to go and get seeds, but I have a few. And then of course I have some that I kept at the end of last year and I'm keeping my fingers crossed that some of those will take, but um, mainly I'm just, I'm dreaming of radishes right now. <laughs> I have, ra have like fresh, yeah, right out of the ground carrots. radishes. Uh, no, <laughs> carrots for my, I think, do bunnies like radishes? Do they think they're too spicy? Uh, I don't know. Just bunnies that live south of the border. <laughs> they love spicy radishes. Um, I yeah, don't know. You, got the, you finally got your Christmas present now that it's nearly April. Yeah, but you guys worked all day yesterday. That was absolutely amazing. Uh, just uh, fabulous. I mean, this morning, the first thing I did was get my coffee and go out there and hang out in it. It was, <laughs> it was perfectly warm and nice in there, too, I must say. Yeah. And it's got this really cool thing. Like, it's got a window on the top that, um, that sort of works as a vent, and it has a temperature gauge thing that it decides that it's time for the window to open so that it can you know, let some of the hot air out. And this morning when I was in there talking a lot to myself, it was funny, but it opened right up like there was hot air in there. Mmm, sad. I don't know, it just came to me. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, so that, how is everybody? I, I hope you guys have been getting some of this light, nice sunshine. It's just four days of sunshine in a row and I, I don't know, that puts me in, puts me hippity hoppity in a really good mood. I'm well, looking forward like to the, real spring, like when it really stays nice all the time. Looks like uh, Minnesota's expecting snow. Mm. And, and of course we have Norway and Maine in the house. And then uh, I see uh, South Africa too, where it's winter. I don't know if it gets cold in South Africa or not. Hmm, well, probably sometimes, but um, yeah, y'all have to tell us. Yeah, I've still been covering up my plants when we have, you know, big dips in this stuff. It, I think it's going to be 35 here tonight, so I won't bother. But uh, it went down to 26 the night before last, so. Matthew wants to know what your shirt says. My shirt? I got this when we played Whitesburg, Kentucky. It says Appalachian. Appalachia. Appalachia. And it's good swag. We like those folks over there. They were so kind to us. Um, so yeah, um, of course last week was a very busy week, so, uh, it's, this week is feeling a little easier, although I'm trying to catch up on all my doctor's appointments. I don't know how you guys feel, but I, I got a beef to pick with all the, how we have to go to 400 different doctors and all these different places to test your blood and, I don't know, I mean, it's like the one place that, you go one place for your big toe, and you go another place <laughs> for your elbow, and another place for everything. So it's just like, I don't know, today was downtown Nashville was my doctor's appointment, and they had moved buildings and didn't even tell me the noise of those guys. So it was, uh, the, fortunately, I've turned to um, putting my doctor's appointments in my calendar for a half an hour before it really is because I just don't want to be late, so. Yeah, I, but then you go, oh, I know it's not really right. It's a half an hour later than that. Well, but sometimes I forget, so <laughs> I have to, I, yeah, to be on the safe side, I always go for the time that I, I'm thinking, so. Yeah, some, it, somehow, just trust me, it works. <laughs> it works. I'd rather sit in the, the uh, waiting room for an extra half hour and just dink around than to have to like be panicked so anyway that's enough well, convincing them, about that you should tell them about your busy week last week oh man you guys i know you know that i had some wonderful stuff going on but i don't know if you had, knew all of it so last wednesday of course um i got to help trisha celebrate her 25th anniversary at the opry and got to be there with some of my gal pals. And there's lots of people from the industry that were there. And of course, Trisha's husband, Garth, was there. And so I got to see a lot of old friends from back in the 90s days. And plus, got to sing with Trisha, which was just a joy. 
singing with her was like butter. It was just so much fun. And a, a song that I just love to sing, so that was really great. And, uh, and they're gonna- And they had cake, they which makes cake. it better. And that'll be on the, they're gonna air that on the Circle Network on, on March 30th. Oh, good, yeah, the Circle Network, March 30th. I, someplace else, but I couldn't, I can't remember. On the, on the Opry's, uh, you know, like Facebook page and YouTube page and stuff like that. Ah, yeah, so you can just look up, um, you know, their, whatever their handle is for the Opry. And I don't know what time, but I'm sure they're gonna show it a few times. And I will tell you, Trisha, I don't know how many songs she sang, but I'd say eight to 12, and she nailed them all. She is such a pro and just, her voice is just so wonderful. Just, I don't, I just, I was in awe to tell you the truth. And plus it was a really emotional night for her because you know, her producer and all the people that she's had working around her for many, many years were there and everybody was there to congratulate her and stuff. So it was, you know, it was kind of, you know, sweet and emotional and stuff and she still rocked it. Man, it was just awesome. And the audience was packed. It was, you know, I don't know how many seats were empty, but none that I could see anyway. So there's and what, that one. And what else did you do? Oh, and in the daytime, Craig and Rob and I, uh, we went over to Sirius Radio and did uh, five songs for their uh, programming for The Village, which is uh, one, of the, the, one of the shows they have on there. And Mary Sue was interviewing me for that as well. So we did it, uh, we, we did it live, and then we also uh, recorded some video to go along with it. And uh, just so you know, Doug's put a uh, edited version of stuff together of both of those things that he's gonna be posting on the Inner Circle tonight for you guys in the Inner Circle. So um, just be looking for that. It'll come out tonight, so. And it'll be, uh, it'll also be on the Sirius app pretty soon. Yeah, the, yeah, you can, you'll be able to watch the performance on the Sirius app. But uh, there was no audience there, so that was kind of in my head. But anyway, that's the way it goes. And also last week, uh, I, I see Brian from your classes on here, so you did your class last week. Brian! <laughs> You know what, Brian, I took a picture and I have to tell you about this because I, I'm gonna send it to you. Um, I, I did my performance class uh, last weekend and so uh, they did amazing. So for Friday and Saturday, we just kind of worked on their performance and then Sunday night they got to perform at the Bluebird and it was a big night for everybody and everybody slayed, it was just so good. And Brian, you did really, really great Changing that song was a really good idea. He changed his uh, up-tempo song at the last minute and it was great. But your sweet song, your very moving song that you did, I took a picture of the people that were next to me because when you started, they started holding hands and I got a picture of them, this little couple and they were, they were being all mushy and it was, you really touched them. So I'll send you a picture. Um, what else? Let's see. Yeah, I've had a very busy, like, a lot, a lot of busy days in a row. Yeah. Turns out. But, um, but now you get a few days off before you have to go traveling again. Yes, I do. And uh, I'm actually going to be buying seeds and getting started in my greenhouse and then um, getting ready to go down to Arizona where I have three wonderful shows. There, I know there's a few tickets left um, at the MIM, which is the second and third of April. Not a lot. So not a lot. If so you're thinking about it, jump, jump in, in there. There's not a bad seat in the house, though. I'm telling you, um, uh, it's just you know it's a it's a smaller venue, so that's what it's just packed up really fast. Um, and then on the 4th, I'm going to be in Tucson at the Fox Theater, and that's a bigger venue, so there's a few more tickets left there than there is at the MIM. So tell all your friends in Tucson to come fill up that, those last few seats, and we're gonna have a great time. 
Then, after that, we're gonna drop the guys off at the airport in Phoenix, and Doug and I are staying for an extra day because they're gonna do a screening at the Phoenix Film Festival of everything fun you could possibly do in Aledo, Illinois. And they're doing three showings there, and Friday night is uh, one of them, and we actually were gonna be in town anyway to drop the guys at the airport, so we're gonna stay over and be at the showing for that one. So uh, any of your folks that live down there in Phoenix, especially you guys from Alito, if you'll please let everybody know about that, I would really appreciate it, because um, I'd love to be sitting and yak with some old pals afterwards. And also, you're going to do a, a Q&A after the movie. Oh. Did you know that? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to do a Q&A after the movie. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so yeah, so I'll be there. And um, so yeah, maybe we can not have only have a Q&A, but we can have a like, and do you remember when we did this? <laughs> and, the, and whoever's there is just going to be going, wow, this town. Because we really do have quite a few people from Alito living down there in the winter now. Um, and then we get to come home for one day, and then we're going to France for two weeks. So that's going to be exceptional. And what are we going to do in France? What are we going to do in France? We're well, going on vacation. Vacation, like real vacation, without even one gig the whole time. And we got Jeff Hanna with us, and we even told him, don't try to book anything, we will kill you. So we got Matrisa and Jeff are going with us, and our friends Bob and Julie are going, and we are going to, I'm going to drink wine, and Doug is going to eat a lot of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so we're pretty excited about it. Because um, we've, only, we've only been to France twice, and the first time we got to stay for, oh, the amount of time it took us to change trains. And then the second time, we got to have dinner there, and then we had to fly out the next morning at five o'clock in the morning. So, uh, so we're really looking forward to this. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're we're going from France to Bordeaux after a week, and we're going to spend a bunch of time down in Bordeaux and then up in Saint Emilion. So, and Doug and I started speaking French back in February, doing you know sort of your I don't know Babel or whatever you call it. And we and also stopped. Speaking then we French. stopped speaking French about three days later. Yeah. <laughs> so now we've got a lot of time to make up for because so far we know bonjour. Yeah, pretty much. So that's, yeah. I think I, if I could look at it, I could tell you what was the difference between a guy and a girl. Other than that, pretty yeah. much lost. So <laughs> hoping that it's the same, alto is the same in French, so I can I know when I need to stop, and I'll be fine. Not that I'll be driving, <laughs> but because I'm drinking wine. <laughs> okay, let's see. I was going to sing you a song. Um, just you know, once again, uh, we are still on the Americana chart. We just keep kind of bobbing up and down. So we've been at 13 twice, and now we're at 18. You know, I'm not giving up. Who knows? I just, I w I'm happy to be in the top 20. How's that? It's pretty awesome. So, um, so the whole album's in there, and uh, I want to just do a little bit of uh, one that you've heard me do before, but I just thought this might be a good day for it. I'm trying out a new capo, and it's really cool, but it's, it's gonna be gonna be a challenge for me, I think. Let's see. It's got individual little um, little squares for each string, but they, they move, so you have to be kinda careful that you don't adjust it wrong or when you're moving it from one fret to the next. I know I got a lot, a lot of guitar geeks out of there. So. Okay, I think you know this one. River in the 
into the future Bridges into the past Million dollar casinos Floating on a hawk fin rack Good bottom land for the cotton Mansions up on the bluff We build the levees tall and strong But you know it's never enough We thought it would last forever But it's crumbling at our feet It all falls down to the river The river falls down the children know their history We teach them very well About the trail of tears And all about the Lorraine Motel And how you never judge someone By the color of their skin We've all got a little blood on our hands, but that's just original sin. Blame it all on the apple, but it doesn't fall far from the tree. It all falls down to the river, the river falls down to the sea. We all want to feel forgiveness. We all fall down on our knees Hallelujah, can I get a witness? Somebody please We know the crops grow better where the flood washes over the land and anyway we're never gonna hold it back filling our bags of sand well some of us are praying for sunshine some of us are saying not yet but out here in the pouring rain everybody's gonna get wet Black in the snow in the winter, but when the sun comes out in the spring, it all falls down through the river. The river falls down to the sea. It all falls down to the river. The river. There's a fly on my thumb. Can you see this? This is one of those moments when you can't say, ain't no flies on me. That was a Go away, nerd. God. That was a beautiful performance of that song. And then you got to the very end and you said, there's a fly on my thumb. Well, you were supposed to fade before that. <laughs> Just like fade and then come back in. Sorry, but there was a fly on my thumb for a long time. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm proud of myself for not just stopping in the middle of it and saying there's a fly on my thumb. <laughs> um, so anyway, I just want to make sure that uh, you're checking in on the website. We're trying to keep up with the dates that are going on sale. We've got a lot of good stuff coming up in May. We're going to be... Um, first of all, we're going to be in Nashville. Um, at Eric Church's new place. You can't say that yet. I can't say that yet. It's. <laughs> I think they said that we could say that Next now. Week. Are you sure? Yeah. But I thought right. Logan said that he. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Well, we're gonna be there on May fourth. But yeah, that's right. You that's didn't right. hear it from me. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, then uh, we are going to be uh, up at the coolest place in the world in Renfro Valley at the. 
what is it called? The, the uh, cultural center? No, uh, the Opry. Uh, the, yeah. Yeah, the, well, what's, what's it called, though? Uh, my brain just shut down right when I was going to say it. It's one of my favorite places, and I'm just being a dumb dumb here. Anyway, it's in, uh, what is it called? Oh, uh, Mount Vernon, Kentucky. It's in Mount Vernon, Kentucky, but it's, is it the Renfro Valley Opry? It's not an Opry, it's it just. Uh, well, it is an Opry. It's an Opry house, yeah. and it's really nice. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to be there on the 11th, I think, of May, and the 12th we'll be doing Mountain Stage with Kathy Matea, and then we head down to Texas, and we'll be in Austin on the 16th, and then I think we're off for the 17th, and the 18th we're at McDavid's studio in Fort Worth, and then we're going back over to Tom Mall to one of our favorite places, the Main Street Crossing. And got to get your tickets there pretty early because there's only 90 seats or something like that there. So, but you're very close. <laughs> you can be watching Craig's fingers and all the smoke comes off of him from how fast he plays. Um, and then I know we're going to be, um, we're doing a, a festival in Virginia on the 25th, and we'll be doing a wonderful uh, kind of town celebration in Johnsonville, Colorado on the 1st of June. And But before that, we'll be in uh, Texas again, in Panhandle, te Panhandle Texas. Again? No, that's it. No, that's afterwards. That's in June, later. Right. That's yeah, right. so we're doing some Amarillo dates and a Lubbock date, which Craig is very excited about because that's his. Oh, you're right. right. I'm looking at your right website. And I don't have the. Uh, I don't have the one in Colorado on your website. That's the issue here. Sorry. Ah, but then we go back to Colorado for the first of July, first uh, the fifth and the sixth. So we'll be in Gunnison and um, uh, Colorado Springs. So, uh, yeah. So that's just some stuff that's coming up. So please check the website often. And I have a guest next week that I'm very excited about. I have Amy Spies coming. Wonderful singer-songwriter, lovely lady. Um, looking for you, forward to you meeting her if you don't already know her music. Uh, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So I'll see you next week. And we'll do peace with Amy Spies. What are you? Okay. What? Oh, am I going to do another song? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I, but, I guess so. It's kind of late, but I will do it. Um, why wouldn't I? I, I? You don't have to. I'll do it. I'll do it. What the heck? My cable worked. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. I just had my calendar was running through my brain at the time. There's another song that came to me while I was walking around out in the beautiful yard. Smelling the daffodils. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Praise for the singing, praise for the morning, praise for them springing, fresh from the world. Sweet the rain's new fall, sunlit from heaven. Like the first dew fall on the first grass. Praise for the sweetness of the wet garden, sprung in completeness where his feet pass.
Mine is the sunlight Mine is the morning Born of the one light Eating softly Praise with elation Praise every morning God's recreation of the new day Morning has broken like the first morning Blackbird has spoken like the first bird Praise for the singing, praise for the morning, praise for them springing, fresh from the word. I hope you're singing. Happy spring, you guys. I'll see you next week, and take care of yourselves. They're thinking about you.